Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. Thank you so much for being here today. Let's look into what's going on with you. What is your overall energy in this connection, Leo? Okay, we have the Two of Cups. All right. We have the Page of Swords. Oh, that's jumping out. We have the world. It almost felt like that wanted to go in reverse. Um, what's this? Um, Six of Wands. All right, so I'm going to take that as a connecting energy. What is their energy toward you, Leo? Here's the Four of Swords. Here's the Palace of Wands. And we have the Palace of Swords. Interesting. Almost like this person is really wanting to build a home with you or to make themselves at home with you. Um, I feel like they could, you, they could be really just, I feel like constructing a lot in their mind. Maybe a lot of you have like a long distance connection where you're not able to be physically with each other. Um, but this pe person definitely, you, they feel like you're very much part of their everyday life. Um, so on your side here, Leo, we have the two of cups. So this indicates, you know, I feel like you're pretty in love with this person or you see them as, you know, your perfect match or a very good match for you. So some of you might be watching and waiting though. Um, so you, it's like you have this knowing that this person, you guys are like meant to be together or you feel, you just feel something really good with this person. Um, this could be that you guys are at a long distance. That's why I was getting long distance here. Um, and you might be waiting, watching and waiting for maybe some world circumstances to change as well. So this could also mean you see this person as a complete package. You just kind of want to watch and wait a little bit more before you make any big moves or you accept some kind of big offer from them. Um, so the four of swords for this person, they could still be recovering or healing from something. So it looks like they're not talking to you as much as they maybe normally do, but I feel like even if they're more silent, I feel like they're still spending a lot of time in this maybe world you guys have started creating and building together. You got maybe there's like a lot of inside jokes or something. They just really like what they feel with you. Okay, and the Six of Wands, I love that this is a connecting card for you guys. So to me, this is feeling like you both are very positive about this connection and you want this to work out. So I feel that, you know, there's um neither one of you is feeling like eh about it. Like I feel both of you want this, you want it to work. We'll get one more card to clarify, actually. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. And here's the Knight of Cups. So I feel with the Two of Swords here, both of you are at like this um, stalemate kind of where you each are not maybe admitting more of your feelings to each other. But the, the romance is there. For sure, the the feelings, the heart, the feelings of the heart are are there between you two. Okay, and then this moon card just showed up as well. So you guys might have like a connection with dogs or wolves, um, or some kind of connection with the, like nighttime. Maybe you guys do a lot of talking at night. Um, this could also mean you know a very intuitive connection between you two. Maybe you guys have like a lot of just the same. You have like a lot of the same soul patterns. Maybe some similar fears or complementary fears even meaning like maybe one of you is really afraid of one thing and the other is not afraid of it but then they're really afraid of um they're really afraid of something else that you're not afraid of so it's kind of like you guys can watch out for each other that way like each be each other's protectors and guardians so that's kind of cool it's very i feel you both are pretty strong powerful pillars so i like what's coming through the leo reading this week i feel it might have been a little rough last week you guys so hopefully um the rest will fill out to be about the same um, oh, beautiful. Here's a ring here, number 25. And um, we have the fish, number 34. This is a very positive card in this deck. This could mean abundance. Um, I also feel like you could really be feeling maybe overflowing with emotion. There could be a separation of an ocean here as well, or you guys live by the ocean. There's some kind of ocean connection um, or something where you're just deeply emotional about this person. Um, the ring being here, this to me is saying, Leo, maybe you, you really do seem pretty serious about this person. Like you could see this lasting for a lifetime, or maybe you promise something to this person. Like you intend to keep some kind of promise to them, or you intend to literally give them a ring or some, some object of affection to show, you know, you care. You 
And here is the choices card, number 22. So this person, I feel they are, they, they very much have you in their sights. Like they very much feel like they could feel like meeting you has opened a new door, opened a new path that they hadn't considered before. I feel like they're very strongly considering majorly changing their life for you. If that's what it's going to take to work things out, to clear obstacles between you two. So I feel there's, there's a lot of a, a waiting game going on here. It seems like and here's for you, Leo. I bury myself in work to forget you. I don't feel like you're really trying to forget this person. Maybe some of you have to kind of distract yourselves, but I'm getting more so that you're working hard to maybe uh, make some more money here and the money might start really flowing in for you, Leo. So um, it's, the world card here can mean some serious success. So this could be some good positive omens for you. Um, commitment coming in for you, Leo, too. If you're um, single, perhaps even, you know, if you don't have a person here, this could, I just feel good stuff coming in for you with this two of cups as well. So you have some really beautiful cards here, Leo. So you're in a very good and attractive energy. So whether you're with someone or not, most of you are, um, of course, uh, with your person here. Um, I feel like it's saying like this, this person is very attractive to you. They see your good qualities. Um, and if you're not with someone, I feel like there's a big attractive magnetic quality that's surrounding you more than normal recently. I left when I saw you with someone. So this could be literal for a few of you here. This could be others just worrying. Like this could be why they are withdrawing perhaps that are still healing from something where they were betrayed or lied to, um, or maybe they feel like you're better off with someone else. So they could be wanting to make sure that you have, um, that you are going to choose them. So yeah, they definitely have hangups about like someone else, like choosing someone else um, over them. And here's, I couldn't let you get close to me. So I feel like this person needs some time to be certain that you actually really want them. And perhaps some of them are leaving some space in case you decide you want to be with someone else, especially if there's like complications between you two coming together. Here's the hummingbird. Well, that's a beautiful card here, Leo. More beauty coming in for you. My goodness. Okay, so there's some, um, I feel like some heavenly help coming in for you, um, or you guys, I feel like you're becoming more connected to nature, you're becoming more connected to the magic of life. Okay, this person can see you as just someone very sweet as well. And we have the shark on their side here. Get one more for them. And the firefly, interesting. Shark and the firefly. Yeah, this person is um, definitely wants to be sure that the passion between you two is going to last. That it's not just going to be this flash in the pan, um, this one little spark. Um, so I feel like this is someone who is, they really feel like they desire this. Or there's someone who, who has like a very strong desire nature. And so they try to kind of play things cool. But underneath the surface, like down below the surface... It's interesting, we have another ocean card here. Um, they really, I feel like they want you all to themselves. So again, they're leaving some space because it seems like for a lot of you, there is not like um, a lot of clarity around what exactly you guys have right now. It looks like there's not really like much of a label on the connection on each other. Not that you need a label, just uh, it's um, making things a little unclear for them. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. Like another ocean card. Depth. I want to give you more of me and I want more of you. So I feel like Leo, it's like almost like you're ready to like lay it all out here for this person. Like you're really inviting this person into your life. You could just feel like a really deep connection with this person. You can feel their depths as well. I feel like you really like, like even if they have some like difficult like energies they've struggled with in their life or they just have like a very powerful energy you like that like power in them and oh this is beautiful you guys there's a lot of really rough cards in this deck and these two are some of my favorites loyalty forever yours so i do feel like this person wants to choose you they do want to choose um choose this connection as soon as you guys get something resolved or something becomes clearer between you two so Leo, this is one of my favorite readings so far this week. Um, all right. 
And I've done more um, than just like the signs before you guys, because sometimes I just do them in kind of a random order. Okay, so, um, and actually you guys, uh, Leo showed up strongly in the Libra reading. So maybe some of you are with a Libra here with some Libra in their chart. Okay, so Leo, what's going on with you? What more is going on with you here? Here's the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And wow, the King of Cups, a very victorious King of Cups in this deck. So I, it's like you're really feeling like you're believing in love here. I feel like you're going to, you're like love conquers all with the Six of Wands here. So I feel like you're very much seeing this person as marriage material or you're like really presenting yourself as your best possible self to... Um, you know, keep this person very interested in you. It looks like you really see a future with this person with the Seven of Pentacles. It feels like you want to keep investing in them. So Leo, I have to say, like, I'm happy for you because it looks like you found someone, you know, very, very nice for you. Okay, so let's clarify. I feel some of you feel like you can tell that this person has some um, really deep feelings for you and they just don't talk about them. And I feel a lot of you are just like okay with that because you just like what you guys have between one another. And what else is going on with them? Here's judgment. Maybe something recently became really clear to this person. Some troubles um, they were finally able to release. Could be around this connection. They could have better understanding of you now that something might have been troubling them before and you guys cleared something up together. And um, here's the Seven of Wands. So this person still is like being very protective of themselves. And the Seven of Pentacles, all right, that's showing up on both sides. And then we have this beautiful star coming through here. So I feel like this person is, they're ready to maybe release the past. And I feel like they need a period of recovery. And then they're going to, going to want to keep investing in you in this connection as well. Um, the King of Pentacles is splitting from the deck here. So interesting that we have counterparts showing up here as well next to the Seven of Pentacles. So I'm getting like a very mutual energy exchange here. You both want to, um, both, I feel like you both are really willing to put yourselves into this. You're willing to put your resources into this. So Leo, if you don't have this with, um, with a person yet, I feel like this person could be on the way because it looks like if you're really resonating with this, you're putting yourself in a really good energy or keep putting yourself in these energy, like even, you know, surround yourself with these kinds of images of um, how you want to be, like who, the kind of person you want to attract. Okay, so how are you feeling about them, Leo? We have the Hierophant. I feel marriage all over this right here, Leo. So a few of you could be actually married to this person, but I feel like a lot of you are like, I, this is the person I want to marry. Um, here's the Seven of Swords. Gosh, this has been showing up in almost every reading this week. Seven of Swords. So, let's see. And the Eight of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. It's another possible marriage card. So, Leo, I'm feeling, since you feel so aligned, I'm feeling like the Seven of Swords isn't something really rough and deceitful. This is more like you're high. I feel like you're hiding your intentions. You're hiding your feelings, um, you're hiding maybe how committed you feel to this person. You don't want them to know yet. You could also maybe be hiding something about your plans or your um, financial situation, maybe how much money you have. You don't want to reveal that to this person until maybe you guys, maybe you are married or in some kind of commitment or union. So you, you really are still keeping something secret. And I feel it's, you feel it's for the best because you don't want to um, you push this person away. You don't want to mess up your chances of getting closer to them. Um, so yeah, I just feel like you're so committed. Wow. <laughs> even if it takes a lot, even if, um, you know, you have to maybe go to the next level in life, you have to move, you have to do something, you have to like close a chapter of your life. I feel you're, you're committed to doing that. It's kind of like, you know, I would do anything for love is what I'm feeling here. Okay. So what are they feeling about you, Leo? We have the chariot. So we have Cancer and Scorpio coming through here and the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Cups. 
So I do feel like this person is highly motivated to overcome obstacles just like you are. That's what the chariot can be all about. Success with determination. The four of wands showing up for them as well. So I feel like you both kind of have the same destination in mind and in heart. Um, this person is a little um, kind of scared or confused about how you guys are going to get there. But I feel like this person is willing to um, do their part. They feel like they're willing to invest what you're investing. They just need to be shown that you are serious about this. And I feel like then they will be ready to move forward. But if this is to me, this is a card like they want to start putting their money where their mouth is. They will show you that you mean something to them. I feel like they very much feel like urgent. They feel it's urgent to show you that they do care about you. They're willing to put the effort in. They just have been holding back because they need to be sure that you want this just like they want it as well. Okay, so a lot of them spend a lot of time daydreaming about this connection. All right, your intentions toward them, Leo. We have the fool. So yeah, I was totally feeling like you'd be ready to start a new life with this person. You'd be ready to maybe merely shake things up and change things in your life. And here's the eight of wands. Maybe you just want to start something new with this person, start a new round of communication. And the sun. Wow, how beautiful is that? All right, so I'm getting like you maybe are really trying to fly in here and make this person really happy too. Maybe they've been a little down, you know, with this four of swords, they're trying to recover. And I feel you're just really wanting to cheer them up somehow. And we have the two of pentacles. Maybe you've been a little too busy though, Leo. But I feel like you're trying to make some time for this person. Maybe pull some swords out of their back. Try to heal them. Goodness. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I do feel like you're you're pretty strong. You're pretty stable here, Leo. And what are their intentions towards you? The Nine of Swords. Here's the wheel, the wheel of fortune. And the ten of cups this is beautiful. Ten, ten. Some of them are very afraid that um, something's going to get in the way and they're not going to have this like happily ever after with you. Here's strength as well. But I do feel like they're very much hoping in their heart this is going to work. So I, I really do feel like they, they're still unclear about maybe how much you feel for them. Because, wow, um, I wish like we could, you know, convey to them what you really feel. Leo, based on this reading here, um, maybe you can find a way to convey it to them, um, to reassure them in some way. Yeah, I feel like this person needs some kind of reassurance or you guys need some kind of conversation about how are you going to work this out or, you're gonna, you, or you need some kind of conversation about like you guys have an aligned vision for life because I feel like this person is very concerned about what what's going to be in their future they are trying to construct their future in their mind right now um especially if like maybe their previous future plans have really changed have really been thrown off and so that's why they're just like resting trying to regenerate right now and trying to figure out the next phase of their life so um yeah they're not they're, they still feel like a little unstable in this connection okay so um, the Wheel of Fortune being here, I feel this is saying, you know, they just want to kind of see how things play out right now. I feel like they are afraid to make a move. They can be really afraid to make a move or say something because they don't want to upset maybe the dream that they have with you, like the potential for something happy. Almost like if they say something, you know, they're not going to get the response that they would like and they rather maybe just um, have hopes for something to work out rather than be disappointed and come down to cold, hard reality. They like what they've built in their head with you. Okay. Um, let's see. What are their main blocks and fears about you in this connection, Leo? We have the tree of life. Okay. So let's see how to interpret this card as an extra card in this deck. They could be very deeply rooted into their life right now. They might have a very stable foundation or maybe some family um, that they need to take care of. And that's making it hard for them to change, to maybe take this um, leap into a new life with you. But I feel like they really want that. And maybe I feel some of them are just feeling really drained, like they need to amp up their life force. And um, what are you both thinking about each other? Here's the hanging man. 
All right, so I feel you both are just kind of like waiting on each other to maybe say something more or waiting on some kind of turn of events in each other's lives or turn of world events. Um, here's the moon. Yeah, there is there is a lack of clarity um, between you two, even though it seems like a lot of love, a lot of wanting to make this work exists there. And what are you both feeling about each other? Here's the page of coins. All right, so I feel you both um, you both are you know wanting to continue to give to the situation. You both see each other as wor worthy. You both really feel um, like I feel like you both want to show up and be there for each other as much as possible. Or you're still just trying to learn about one another right now. It's like a work in progress, like trying to figure things out about um, the other person, seeing if you guys will be a practical fit. And what might you expect from them in the next couple weeks, Leo? Here's the Knight of Coins. So it looks like this person is still going to be right by your side. Um, maybe not making any big advances, but they're going to be there for you, it looks like. Um, let's see, advice for you, Leo. Ace of Cups. All right, so it looks like maybe some of you should express your love to this person or just try to find ways to show show them that you care. This could just be encouragement to also just say that, yes, you have a new start in love available to you. Um, so don't give on, up on that if you felt like things were over or all hope was lost in love for you. It looks like, you know, things can be healed. Your heart can be healed. You can find that love, that holy grail you've always been looking for. Get yourself into that energy. Stay close to... Um, to God, to the divine, to your highest self. And um, that is what starts moving mountains. Yeah, moving mountains, making miracles. So I feel like that's that's where you are moving. You need to move some mountains and make some miracles here, Leo. And I do feel you have the power to do that. You have the power over the devil. Hey, didn't we have a Leo reading where it was like the devil can't spoil this party? Yeah, that's funny. That was like several weeks ago. Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, and yeah, this is like um, kind of like a miracle working card as well, like all the fish that are multiplied. All right, so yeah, get ready for your miracles, Leo. I feel very good, powerful energy here. Okay, let's get a few message cards from them. What might they say to you, Leo? I'm going through a lot, yes, and they're like, I need some time to recover. Um, perhaps a few of you are connected to the Aries reading here because that, that was like the title of the reading because that's all I could say about the person was they were going through a lot. But I feel like this person has um, a lot of interest for you, a lot of um, a lot of love here for you. And I feel like they, they really do want to stay by your side. This is what they're looking for is like a loyal partner. They just want to be sure that you want it too. All I want to do is talk to you. And now is not the right time. So yeah, timing here, they feel like something's maybe going to change and some turn of events will bring you guys closer. All right, we have, do you even see me that way? So this person, it seems like you do see them that way, Leo, but they're a little uncertain um, of themselves. I just wish things were different. And my life started when I met you. And here's please give me time. I've never felt this way before. All right. So those are a couple um, nice cards to end on here. Um, 729. That could be someone's birthday, July 29th. And this split from the deck, you are so very special. So um, yeah, I feel like this person does see your value, Leo. Guardians. So that's kind of cool. It's very. I feel you both are pretty strong, powerful pillars. So I like what's coming through the Leo reading this week. I feel it might have been a little rough last week, you guys. So hopefully um, the rest will fill out to be about the same. Um, oh, beautiful. Here's a ring here, number 25. And um, we have the fish, number 34. This is a very positive card in this deck. This could mean abundance. Um, I also feel like you could really be feeling maybe overflowing with emotion. There could be a separation of an ocean here as well. Or you guys live by the ocean. There's some kind of ocean connection. Um, or something where you're just deeply emotional about this person. Um, the ring being here, this to me is saying, Leo, maybe you, you really do seem pretty serious about this person. Like you could see this lasting for a lifetime, or maybe you promise something to this person, like you intend to keep some kind of promise to them, or you intend to literally give them a ring or some, some object of affection to show, you know, you care. Yeah. 
And here is the choices card, number 22. So this person, I feel they are, they, they very much have you in their sights. Like they very much feel like they could feel like meeting you has opened a new door, opened a new path that they hadn't considered before. I feel like they're very strongly considering majorly changing their life for you. If that's what it's going to take to work things out, to clear obstacles between you two. So I feel there's, there's a lot of a, a waiting game going on here. It seems like. And here's for you, Leo. I bury myself in work to forget you. I don't feel like you're really trying to forget this person. Maybe some of you have to kind of distract yourselves, but I'm getting more so that you're working hard to maybe uh, make some more money here and the money might start really flowing in for you, Leo. So um, it's the world card here can mean some serious success. So this could be some good positive omens for you. Um, commitment coming in for you, Leo, too. If you're um, single, perhaps even, you know, if you don't have a person here, this could, I just feel good stuff coming in for you with this two of cups as well. So you have some really beautiful cards here, Leo. So you're in a very good and attractive energy. So whether you're with someone or not, most of you are, um, of course, uh, with your person here. Um, I feel like it's saying like this, this person is very attractive to you. They see your good qualities. Um, and if you're not with someone, I feel like there's a big attractive magnetic quality that's surrounding you more than normal recently. I left when I saw you with someone. So this could be literal for a few of you here. This could be others just worrying. Like this could be why they are withdrawing perhaps that are still healing from something where they were betrayed or lied to, um, or maybe they feel like you're better off with someone else. So they could be wanting to make sure that you have, um, that you are going to choose them. So yeah, they definitely have hangups about like someone else, like choosing someone else um, over them. And here's, I couldn't let you get close to me. So I feel like this person needs some time to be certain that you actually really want them. And perhaps some of them are leaving some space in case you decide you want to be with someone else, especially if there's like complications between you two coming together. Here's the hummingbird. Well, that's a beautiful card here, Leo. More beauty coming in for you. My goodness. Okay, so there's some, um, I feel like some heavenly help coming in for you, um, or you guys, I feel like you're becoming more connected to nature, you're becoming more connected to the magic of life. Okay, this person can see you as just someone very sweet as well. And we have the shark on their side here. Get more for them. And the firefly, interesting. Shark and the firefly. Yeah, this person is um, definitely wants to be sure that the passion between you two is going to last. That it's not just going to be this flash in the pan, um, this one little spark. Um, so I feel like this is someone who is, they really feel like they desire this. Or there's someone who, who has like a very strong desire nature. And so they try to kind of play things cool. But underneath the surface, like down below the surface... It's just interesting. We have another ocean card here. Um, they really, I feel like they want you all to themselves. So again, they're leaving some space because it seems like for a lot of you, there is not like um, a lot of clarity around what exactly you guys have right now. It looks like there's not really like much of a label on the connection on each other. Not that you need a label, just uh, it's um, making things a little unclear for them. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. Like another ocean card. Depth. I want to give you more of me and I want more of you. So I feel like Leo, it's like almost like you're ready to like lay it all out here for this person. Like you're really inviting this person into your life. You could just feel like a really deep connection with this person. You can feel their depths as well. I feel like you really like, like even if they have some like difficult like energies they've struggled with in their life or they just have like a very powerful energy you like that like power in them and oh this is beautiful you guys there's a lot of really rough cards in this deck and these two are some of my favorites loyalty forever yours so I do feel like this person wants to choose you they do want to choose um choose this connection as soon as you guys get something resolved or something becomes clearer between you two so, Leo, this is one of my favorite readings so far this week. Um, all right. 
And I've done more um, than just like the signs before you guys, because sometimes I just do them in kind of a random order. Okay, so, um, and actually you guys, uh, Leo showed up strongly in the Libra reading. So maybe some of you are with a Libra here with some Libra in their chart. Okay, so Leo, what's going on with you? What more is going on with you here? Here's the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And wow, the King of Cups, a very victorious King of Cups in this deck. So I, it's like you're feeling, feeling like you're believing in love here. I feel like you're gonna, you're like love conquers all with the Six of Wands here. So I feel like you're very much seeing this person as marriage material or you're like really presenting yourself as your best possible self to, um, you know, keep this person very interested in you. It looks like you really see a future with this person with the Seven of Pentacles. It feels like you want to keep investing in them. So Leo, I have to say like, I'm happy for you because it looks like you found someone, you know, very, very nice for you. Okay, so let's clarify. I feel some of you feel like you can tell that this person has some um, really deep feelings for you and they just don't talk about them. And I feel a lot of you are just like okay with that because you just like what you guys have between one another. And what else is going on with them? Here's judgment. Maybe something recently became really clear to this person. Some troubles um, they were finally able to release. Could be around this connection. They could have better understanding of you now that something might have been troubling them before and you guys cleared something up together. And um, here's the Seven of Wands. So this person still is like being very protective of themselves. And the Seven of Pentacles, all right, that's showing up on both sides. And then we have this beautiful star coming through here. So I feel like this person is they're ready to maybe release the past and I feel like they need a period of recovery and then they're going to, going to want to keep investing in you in this connection as well. Um, the King of Pentacles is splitting from the deck here. So interesting that we have counterparts showing up here as well next to the Seven of Pentacles. So I'm getting like a very mutual energy exchange here. You both want to um, both. I feel like you both are really willing to put yourselves into this. You're willing to put your resources into this. So Leo, if you don't have this with um with a person yet, I feel like that this person could be on the way because it looks like if you're really resonating with this, 